look at this. This is the type of item I was coming to find, y'all. Something exactly like this. This... What's going on, Liquidation Gang? It's your boy, John the Liquidator, and I'm back with another video, man. Today's vlog is going to be a good one, man. I'm going to try to mess around with this vlog, start giving you guys a little bit more special effects. But me and Tara is going on a Goodwill haul today. Um, we have been talking about it. Now, we're not going to the bins yet. We're not going to the bins. We're going to a uppity Goodwill located in a deeper part of the suburbs and hopefully we can find some nice small flips and some nice antique stuff i'm gonna get tara on here look and see exactly what she's looking out for so she can let y'all know what she's looking out for me personally i'm looking out for some antique items and maybe some uh nice furniture pieces y'all know i can't shy away from the furniture but yeah, so like I'm looking for some antique items and some nice furniture pieces, man. Um, shout out to all the new subscribers on the channel, man. Appreciate the love and the support you guys always show. And I always remember, guys, keep that post notification bell on so you guys never miss a video when I upload. And you don't miss the lives, man. When I go live, they be extremely lit and extremely fun. Um, yeah, man, and so I'm going to just try to bring you guys some different type of content, man, uh, for us, like me and Tara getting out and about, doing stuff, man. I did say I was going to try to do some other stuff outside of liquidation, but it'll always be some way, shape, or form dealing with reselling and trying to make some money, man. Uh, we still got the GoFundMe up. Uh, you guys can get the link in my bio or get the link down in the description if you guys want to donate some money to the, my company itself, because y'all know we is in a recession and we still need to get that truckload so we can fix the books and get to the new business plan, man. And so hopefully um, we all could get Get some money and uh get a truckload in man some way somehow i still haven't received that grant money yet so i'm just waiting on that stuff to come in and get all the kinks out but for the most part man in today's video we will be going to the goodwill on the goodwill hall man tara's excited about it she's been hollering me about the goodwill for the last couple of days uh we supposed to have went the other day but i didn't go um just because man i just been in a funk you know what i'm saying i'm always in a funk but yeah i just didn't feel like going and the kids was just going bonkers with us or whatnot but yeah man uh hopefully we find some nice hidden gems hidden treasures at the goodwill today um i'm starting to come around you know since this whole recession thing has happened i gotta get back to the old me and get back to uh making money and doing what we're doing how you feel about the goodwill hall i'm excited hopefully they have some good stuff I just love the hair, Tara. Thank you. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, guys. So, we about to get ready and get suited and booted, get JoJo strapped in the car, and get ready to hit it in Lester Dexter and go to the Goodwill. Holler at you guys in a minute, man. Yeah. Up here to the Goodwill. It's probably about a 25-minute drive. And, y'all, this Goodwill look like a damn mall. This Goodwill finna have be lit. I know it is. I'm finna flip the camera around and show y'all how it look. Look at it. I ain't never seen no Goodwill like this. You ever seen the Goodwill like this? This Goodwill finna be lit. Look at the glass, the architecture. Oh yeah. I don't even like going to the Goodwill. They even got the good Look, they even got the good carts. They even got the good carts here. Let me put my mask on real quick, y'all. Now, y'all know we got our uh, partner in crime. We gotta have JoJo with us. JoJo always come along, so. Wow. Hello. Hello. All righty, y'all. We finna look for some treasure, get some game plans going on with Tara. How about you guys in a minute? All righty, y'all. I found, I don't know. I think these are some KDs. $40. How much is this? Already finding treasures. See here, this is pretty dope. I don't know what this is. I'm 
really looking for some antique stuff, y'all. That's what I'm going for. That's what I'm looking for. Some antique stuff. Something to flip real quick that's antique. This is kind of antique-y. I don't know. This place huge, you know. Oh, look at this. I believe it's broke. Or is it made like this? 50 bucks, man. I believe this is supposed to be glass or something. This is a nice little heater. God, we just want these. What is these things? I don't know. Like 25 bucks a piece. I don't really like candle holders, but somebody get down in the comment section. Let me know if y'all ever seen these before. I don't even know what these are. Look at the detail on that little bird that we gotta be worth something. I don't know. I think I might get it. I think I might get this bird. I don't know what it is, though. See, and that's why I hate buying stuff. I don't know what it is. Because back in the days, I used to do that. And that's how you get stuck with a lot of stuff. Even if you research it, something like that still might be like a minute to sell, you know? We left this Goodwill here because um, they was kind of high. Yeah, the prices were high. You know, they was they was they was kind of high, and um, they had some okay stuff, but none of the stuff like we were really looking for today. So we just gonna go in here and go to another one. We actually got like three that we can hit up, including this one. So now it's only two more left. So we finna go hit up uh, this other one that's not too far, and then we'll go to the one that's closer to our house. Hopefully we find some stuff today, man. We didn't like, like, they had stuff, but it wasn't stuff really worth buying a flip like that. And anything that was, it was already marked up, so it wouldn't have been worth it. Yeah, and so, like, all of all of their prices on their stuff in there it was already marked to sell. It wasn't really, you know, for reselling purposes. So, this guy right here is just not paying attention. But, uh, yeah, so, like, it was, like, really not for resale purpose. So, something like that would make it real hard trying to resell stuff whenever you got stuff extremely high like that, man. So, we're currently just finna hit the highway, go to the other uh, Goodwill. But that one was nice. It did look nice, didn't it? Yeah, it was nice on the inside, but it just wasn't. It wasn't worth it. You know, we drove over here. Um... This is like the higher end part of the city, well, part of the county. Um, this is like where the Lamborghini dealership is at. This is like where the Ferrari dealership is at. So it's a lot of high end stuff out this way, but shit, they got high end prices. I tell you that. <laughs> they definitely got high end prices out here at the Goodwill, man. So we'll just have to come back, you know what I'm saying? Maybe towards the end of the summer or so. I still think the Goodwill bins is going to be the best. Uh, you think so? Yeah, for the price, I think so. I don't know, man. We just got to hit up the bins and see. You know, we just got to uh, go by the bins and A lot of places see. don't have bins. A lot of different states don't have them. For real? Yeah. Yep. So, like, if a lot of states don't have bins, I mean, it make it extremely kind of hard to resell you stuff like that. Because the bins, like, don't they sell any stuff by weight? Yes, by the pound. By the pound of the stuff. So, I don't know, man. Hopefully, we find some cool stuff to resell and do some small flips. But um, as of right now, we have no luck. Um, did you even find any shoes and stuff? Um, the one pair I found were marked up to $33. So, $33 for a used pair of shoes from the Goodwill. I mean, they're good shoes, or the Hoka or Hoda or however you say it, but for $33, no. It just wouldn't work. And this is where the Top Golf is at, too, y'all. So Top Golf is out here. I went to Top Golf last year for my birthday. That was before I became a YouTuber, though, which was an epic, epic time, man. I'll probably go to Top Golf again. I really like the golf. At this where the Lamborghini dealership is, or is it further down? I think it might be further down. But yeah, guys, so I'm currently driving on this highway, man. I'll holler at y'all whenever we pull up to the other Goodwill. Peace. To this other Goodwill. Um, hopefully that should have some stuff. 
It's more of a smaller Goodwill. It ain't big like that other one. So we're about to get head into this one. And hopefully, just hopefully, uh, we find some stuff to, to flip. You know, this one ain't as crowded either. Tara's getting JoJo out the car right now. He like to kick his shoes off. So she got to make sure um, he got his shoes on before we go in. So, yeah, this one ain't got the real nice cars like the other one. <coughs> so we heading in here, y'all. Hopefully, uh, we find some treasures at the local Goodwill. And then, if this one don't have anything, we'll go buy one more, and that's the one by the house. But let us get situated, get a car, and get to thrifting, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Guys, I think I'm going to find some flips here, y'all. This guy here. I used to sell bobbleheads, too. Two bucks, the office. I think I might get this guy. Look at that, two dollars. Put them on eBay or Macari for like 25 bucks. Small flips like these, baby. Yeah, getting him. What's his name? Get that little bottle head down there. See, just like that, huh? There was something I wanted to show you guys. I had just spotted it. Right. Look, look this out. <laughs> right down here. Whoa, look this. Nice small flips, man. It ain't paying his copyright music. Let me see. This stuff, stuff like this now, too. This is kind of vintage. Check this out. Gotta check the bottle. What's the date on this? It says 2000. Anything is over with. These 10 cans. Yeah, I don't think this is vintage. Tower used to buy these. These right here used to sell like crazy. Back in the day, these little silver little things. Could you imagine seeing that walking in the house? That's a wonky looking one there, bro. <clears throat> I should sell Nerf guns. Nerf guns sell real good too. Oh, excuse me, man. Yo, these lamps right here caught my eye. These, because where I bet you they ain't super heavy. How much? $30 a piece. Oh, 60 bucks. Man, look at these. Got the, the crowns on the top. Little sink pieces on it, little accent pieces. But 30 bucks? I don't know. I think I might have to research this one, y'all. Yeah, I think I might have to research this one. So give me a second. Let me research these lamps. I'll get you guys right back. Look Peace. at this. This is the type of item I was coming to find, y'all. 
something exactly like this. This was the item I was looking for. Vintage. But look at the price tag on that boy. These are cast iron. Cast iron. These are extremely heavy. Look at this. Whoa, man. Whoa, look at that. Old, rusted looking. Damn, man. I just ain't got it. I, ain't got, I, I know these worth over a thousand dollars. Easy. Easy vintage. Look at that. Whoa, man, look at that. Crazy. Can't get it. Can't get it. Damn, dude. Hmm. Probably buy this, though. This is only six bucks. Let me get this. Stuff like this sale at the store. Some Omla. Damn, man. I want these bad. Real bad, man. Crazy. No luck today, man. A little bit out of my price range there. Yeah. Yep. Let me go meet up with Tara and look and see how she's doing, man. I'll let y'all in a minute. What's going on, Liquidation Gang? So we're back. We just made it home from finishing up thrifting today, man. We got some cool little pickups, nothing too extreme. Um, I went on here and got that bobblehead. I'm going to show them to you right now. Bow! There he is there. Then I'm going to hit y'all with some B-roll of the bobblehead right now. Alrighty, y'all. So I'm back here with Tara too. So Tara went thrifting as well. She picked up some items too. So let me tell, let me let her tell y'all what all items she got. All right. So I picked up this uh, Lululemon tank. So that was it's a good size too. So that'll be good. And then I found a free people dress, which I think will go pretty good. Um, but yeah. They had some other good things, but they had either stains or rips in it. So, so all together, I spent two dollars and like fifty four cent. How much did you spend? Uh, it was ten dollars. Ten bucks. How much you think you'll make on everything? Uh, probably fifty to seventy five. I think I'm gonna make like. 25 30 bucks off my little bobblehead, but it was a fun, easy, quick sale little pickup. Now I'm finna hit y'all with some B roll of Tara stuff, and then, um, y'all know, close out the vlog. Peace. <laughs> y'all as y'all can see those are the pickups that we got for today and um it's been fun it's definitely been real man y'all gotta always remember to keep the post notification bells on so you guys never mix a video when i upload man and shout out to all the new subscribers man appreciate you joining the family this is liquidation gang and i am the general and my name is john the liquidator and i'm heading out of this thing i'm out of here y'all peace